Given a node i, each layer of a graph neural network updates this node's embedding by passing messages from its neighbors and aggregating them. This model currently sets the state of the art for various tasks, but how do we scale it to massive graphs? We first observe that this message passing step is rather expensive, considering all the non-contiguous memory accesses. More importantly though, a graph neural network uses multiple of these layers. Hence, the used neighborhood grows and grows exponentially until we've very soon covered the whole dataset, especially in real networks with the small world property. So how do we circumvent this neighborhood explosion? We could just subsample the neighbors, as was done in previous works. Or we notice that only very few neighbors are actually important. However, we have to obtain the importance a priori, since calculating it during training is far too expensive. We propose to find and weight the most important nodes by their personalized page rank scores in a predict then propagate style model. But this inverse is too expensive as well, so we circumvent it using two different methods. For training, we pre-compute the required page rank scores using an optimized variant of Anderson Chung Lang's approximate PR. This algorithm is purely local and gives us very precise estimates for the training set. This enables us to do full propagation in a single message passing step. It would, however, be too expensive to use this algorithm for the whole graph. So during inference, we instead use one to three power iteration steps, which, as we found, already gives good predictions. We can further accelerate inference by only running the model on a few nodes and then spreading these predictions through the graph. This enables our model to compute better predictions faster than even a model that just ignores the graph. We call this new model PPR Go. All of its components can be efficiently implemented in a large scale distributed setup. Now let's look at how PPR Go performs in practice. For this, we look at the popular Reddit dataset in a realistic, sparsely labeled setup on a single machine with commodity hardware. We have the logarithmic runtime on the left and the accuracy on the right hand side. The state of the art methods cluster GCN and SGC take more than 2000 seconds from start to end. PPR Go, on the other hand, finishes in just 13 seconds and even shows better accuracy. No sampling approaches or other tricks come close to this 100 fold improvement. And the difference only grows further with larger datasets. For example, on our new MAG dataset, cluster GCN and SGC take more than 24 hours, while PPR Go with sparse inference finishes in one minute. We hope you check out the full paper Scaling Graph Neural Networks with Approximate Page Rank. My name is Johannes Kisper, and this is joint work with Alexander Bojcevsky and colleagues at TUM and Google Research. Thank you for watching.